Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. And I actually wasn't going to upload a video today just because I'm feeling a bit nauseous for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's just, well I can't even say it's the time of the month because I don't have periods. But um, maybe it's just, I don't know. However, the sun is shining and it is such a beautiful but so cold day. Um, so yeah, I am wrapping up warm in this really nice, like cosy, oversized jumper sweatshirt or whatever you like to call it and so yeah today's video is just going to be a really nice chilled out one we're just going to go through a box of korean skincare goodies from stalvana which is just so so exciting i just love stalvana packages they're so great and the selection of products is second to none like it's unbeatable and um, so yeah i do actually have a discount code for them which has been a long a long running discount code um which i'll pop on screen here and also i'll leave in the description box down below but yes today we're just going to go through some really staple skincare products from really some really good fantastic brands as well like thank you Pharma, Sciores, we've got beauty of Josan here and we've got other other bits as well so yeah just sit back relax have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and just enjoy the next nine to ten minutes and i've got my box of goodies here with me today which is just so so exciting i've got eight products overall and yeah like i said we've got thank you pharma beauty of show son we've even got cosrx in there we've got ilyu il ilyu ilyun 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 but yes so first off we have got the ilyun is it ilyun ilyun i don't not too sure but anyway it is the infamous ceramide atto concentrate cream in a 500 milliliter tub which oh this is just going to be an absolute savior for my skin i know it but yeah i've heard so many fantastic reviews and opinions of the iliun iliun is it Il iliun please do let me know how to pronounce this in the comments below so actually we're going to just open it now because i'm actually really really intrigued so yes we've got it right here you know what it really reminds me of the cerave creams and it actually feels like the cerave creams as well probably a touch on more on the lightweight side of things but, but yeah really really nourishing for the skin wow I wonder what ingredients is in this product. So trying to find an ingredients list of this specific product is proving a little bit difficult because it looks like they have reformulated quite a lot of these in the past, um, but um, it should have the likes of cholesterol in there. It's got that ceramide complex as well, so really great at repairing the skin barrier and just really nourishing the skin barrier as well. Um, it's got the likes of butylin glycol, glycerin, so that's really great for hydration benefits. Um, and it's also got ginseng root extract as well, which is a great antioxidant and anti-inflammatory ingredient. I think I'll try this on my skin, maybe during the evening, see you know how I wake up or anything like that. Um, if it's too thick, then I will just slather this all over my body. I'm just so into my body creams and body moisturizers currently now. Um, I've got loads in my collection, so um, I... I'm very very grateful for an one <laughs> and that brings me very nicely on to another product from the brand and this is their mild easy wash sun cream SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 and I've got to be totally honest with you well as always but I've never ever heard of this product before and I've never seen this product before and it looks quite big like my head is very very big anyway but you know that's a good like Maybe just over a half, no, nearly three quarters of the length of my face, and that is big. Oh, oh, right, okay. So it comes in this like pump style packaging right here, which is very, very intriguing because it's very like rare to come across a pump style sun cream. Um, you know, really, that's designed for your face. So it does make me believe that this possibly could be best suited for a body sun cream, sunscreen, 
SPF, whatever floats your boat. And in terms of sunscreen filters, we've got the likes of Homo Salate, we've got Ethyl Hexyl Salicylate, Juvenal A Plus, Tinosaur S, and we've also got a L'Oreal Trademark sunscreen filter in here as well. Uh, so in terms of sun protection factor, I am unsure if, you know, 50 plus is the actual tested and valid SPF rating. However, looking at the ingredients list, those sunscreen filters, you know, the majority of them are pretty, you know, at the beginning of the ingredients list, which, you know, is kind of a good sign in a sense. And other noticeable ingredients in this product, we've got the likes of a traditional like Chinese um, Asian ingredient called skullcap root extract and we've also got vitamin E which both of those ingredients are so so great for antioxidant protection and we've also got glycerin in here so that's you know pretty standard in a sunscreen but that's going to really hydrate the skin as well and um, we've also got the likes of Centella Asiatica but that does feature quite low down on the ingredients list um, but yeah overall it looks like a really decent sunscreen and um, chemical sunscreen and I really do think like what is the white cast how does it layer what's it feel like what how does it break me out so really really looking forward to testing this product out and then moving on to two thank you farmer products that i have not tried out but look so so good and i definitely think um it's going to be absolutely perfect for those transitional seasons into spring and the summer but these are the thank you farmer true water Deep Moisture Cream EX. Wonder what that EX stands for. And then the Thank You Pharma True Water Vita Mist. And for the cream, the marketing says a moisturizing cream that helps to strengthen the skin barrier by filling the skin with hydration and balancing the skin's moisture levels. And just quickly glancing at the ingredients list for the Deep Moisture Cream EX, we've got the likes of Centella Asiatica, um, which yeah, is gonna be that really great anti-inflammatory ingredient. We've got the likes of Ceramide NP, so that's strengthening the skin barrier. We've got the likes of beta glucan, glycerin, we've got betaine in there, so really great hydration ingredients. And we've also got panphenol as well, so that's really going to further soothe down and just calm down the skin, which is always great. And we've got a little spatula here, but I really don't kind of tend to use spatulas, I just think, you know, are you washing that spatula every time? Probably not, but I just think they're harboring more bacteria than you would you know, wash your hands before you put your skincare on. I just never get the point of um, spatulas, <laughs> to be honest with you. Great for like, you know, product shots and mixing around and stuff, but not for me really. So yeah, this actually has pretty much the same texture as the um, Ilune Ceramide Atto Concentrate Cream, but it does look a little bit more lightweight, so. So yeah, that is actually really quite lightweight. And look at that hydration just kind of like going onto my palm there. And already that cream had actually just, you know, absorbed really nicely into my skin. It hasn't left like a greasy or like a slippery residue or anything like that. Whereas the Ceramide Concentrate Cream did kind of have that slip to it afterwards and um, it still does now actually onto my fingers and that makes me think that that ceramide concentrate cream is going to be best for my body and um, just because of the skin type that i have on my face it's combination it can be you know can get very clogged up very very quickly unfortunately this is the mist which oh wow so it is that biphase product where it's got that mix of the oil to the water solution and really does remind me of the Sioris product just that kind of you know where you have to shake it, get it all sort of mixed in together. But I think this is going to be really, really hydrating, but also quite nourishing as well. I'm just going to spray a little bit into the air to see if it's got a fragrance. Yes, yeah, so it definitely has a fragrance in there, but I'm just going to... Mmm. I actually really do like that fragrance. <laughs> ah. And now I'm very wet. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, looking at the ingredients list, it's got the sea buckthorn and also avocado oils, which is that oil component in the formulation. And those two Thank You Farmer products are actually a really big thumbs up from me. That mist smells so like, it's not overpowering, it's just really subtle, but really refreshing as well. Of course, you've got those oils in there, that's just gonna really nourish the skin. Um, so yeah, really, really impressed with those two products from Thank You Farmer. As 
obviously I probably would have expected because, you know, Thank You Farmer Sun Project Water Cream is one of my favourite SPFs ever and I really have enjoyed Thank You Farmer's products in the past. Anyway, moving on to a product that um, I've never actually tried before and I'm really, really looking forward to trying this just for some extra hydration boost into my skincare routine. And this is the Cosorex Hyaluronic Acid Hydra Power Essence, which is said to be rich in hyaluronic acid. This moisturizing essence helps building the skin barrier and keeps abundant moisture for dehydrated skin, which is definitely, definitely what we all suffer with during these cold months and I can't even say that the heating is blasting and dehydrating my skin today because it looks like my heating is not working today which uh yeah I'm wrapping up warm <laughs> and yeah I'm really looking forward to trying this out actually it's got a really minimal ingredients list where is it there it is so it's got a kind of water that I can't pronounce but um you know it's it's a different type of water, which is always quite intriguing to a skincare product, but it's got butylene glycol in there, it's got glycerin, sodium hyaluronate, and also panphenol as well. So yeah, I think a very simple, but really hydrating product. I haven't really been using an essence or a toner step for the past few weeks now, not because I like don't think they're necessary or anything like that. And I, you know, one of my favorite steps is an essence or a toner. I have just, just been using recently some really great serums and really great moisturizers that I just feel like I haven't needed to warrant a serum or an essence in my routine and that's absolutely fine but I definitely think it is longer overdue and I'm definitely looking forward to that extra step in my routine so that is just going to be fantastic just to whack that hydration into the skin and also talking about essences is one of my favorite ones actually and this is kind of like a top up of a product that I've not really finished yet but it, you know I'm, I will be grateful that I've got it once I've finished the one that I've already got open. Anyway, I have got the Ciore's My First Essener because it's just incredible. <laughs> um, and I know I've said that, you know, I've not been using them for the past few weeks, but prior to that, I was using this pretty much every single day. And maybe it was that good that I was just like, okay, my skin doesn't need this step anymore. Well, for, for a little bit. And... Yeah, it is so, so good. But I love this, not just for the benefits for the skin, but for the consistency, the texture of it is so unique. But the bottle as well is just so aesthetically pleasing. And I know you shouldn't really, you know, purchase skincare because of the look of it, you kind of want the benefits, but if it looks good and it feels good and it does good, then, you run for a winner. But actually shaking that up then, this is actually a lot more like liquidy and a lot more fluid. So my other one, which is here, is there. And look at that. So that's my current open one, which is a blooming wonderful texture. But then this is a lot more watery. And even if I shake this up, right? Yeah, you can sort of, you can sort of still tell that that's got a bit of hold to it, a bit of gloopiness, whereas this is like way watery. Oh, I really hope that they don't, I haven't changed anything in that. Anyway, I mean, it's just the texture. The ingredients are great in there and obviously my skin loves it, so that's what matters the most. And yeah, the packaging is beautiful. But the Ciore's My First Essener has got organic green tea in there, it's got mugwort, it's got polyglutamic acid in there as well. So really, really fantastic hydration ingredients, anti-inflammatory ingredients and also antioxidant support system in there as well. It's just a blooming wonderful, wonderful product. And I have loved Ciore's for for a long time now, well, when I say a long time, like what, a year and a half? But I'm really just, that all of their products just deliver and so, so good. Right, so we are moving on to the last two products now and these two products excite me so much uh, because I've used them before and also, you know, oh, 
they're just brilliant, brilliant brands. So we have got the Beauty of Joson Radiant Cleansing Balm. So technically I have just told a little lie because I haven't used this specific formula before. Um, I've used their original cleansing balm and then they've obviously changed this to a pa different packaging, a different formulation, which I think has got rice in it or Arbutin. Not too sure about that one. But yeah, this has got a new packaging. It's like a clippy lid and it's just, I don't know really it's just it feels it feels and looks very different um but this is just absolutely one of the best cleansing balms ever because it just takes off everything like i don't wear heavy makeup or anything like that a bit of bb cream now and again but it just takes off that bb cream those multiple different layers of sunscreen and you just feel clean after it after using this and a good cleansing balm for me personally is one that emulsifies very very good as well and this delivers on that and what i really do love about cleansing balms is that sensorial sensor, sensorial sensorial experience of that oil to the lathering up that creaminess and yeah just feeling squeaky squeaky clean so definitely a absolute winner in terms of cleansing balms for me um, and for me personally cleansing balms are very difficult to to get right and to like and I have just a very few that I really do like and Beauty of Josen is one of them absolutely <laughs> oh god I'm blabbering on now I literally have no idea what I'm talking about anyway we have got a mini version of one of my favorite moisturizers ever so this is the skin 1004 Madagascar Centella soothing cream and this is just the most adorable thing in the whole entire world because yes, it is one of my favorite moisturizers and it comes in a little mini size. That is just, oh, absolutely perfection, perfection. Um, so yeah, obviously, you know, if you've watched my favorite moisturizers of 2021 video, you will know that I just absolutely rave about this product because of the consistency, the hydration benefits, and also the fantastic ingredients list. Like it just delivers on so, so many different benefits for the skin. It is so, so good. We've got a 72% Centella Asiatica extract in there, which is gonna deliver on the hydration, the soothing, and also the antioxidant properties got tranexamic acid in there which is great for you know pigmentation and sun damaged skin we've got the likes of ceramide NP ceramide AP and ceramide EOP so that's really going to help strengthen the skin barrier along with that cholesterol ingredient in there we've also got the likes of ginger root extract and also photosyn sugin sugin for sin sugin, sugin, sugin. <laughs> um oh anyway and so that brings me to the end of today's video please do let me know in the comments below if you spotted any of your favorites in this product please do let me know if i'm pronouncing il yoon or il yoon right <laughs> um and what are your recommendations from that brand because i really do want to sort of delve into that brand a lot more but yeah i really do hope you've enjoyed this video and please do make sure you subscribe to this channel and also my new vlogging channel all of the details will be linked in the description box down below and thank you to starvana for sending these products out and i'm very very excited to try the majority of them out asap rocky <laughs> uh, so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you very very soon for a brand new one see you later bye bye